All right, what is going down, Niner faithful? Welcome back to yet another post-game video. Um, so the I'm two and zero in playoffs, baby. Um, the Cowboys just ended up defeating the Seattle Seahawks, um, twenty-four to twenty-two. I actually only watched like some of the first quarter in this game. I had plans uh, tonight, and I didn't really get to watch the whole game. And I was pretty sad about it because. It was really a good game from what I've seen and from the updates I've got. So, as we do know, though, a Dallas Cowboys uh, wide receiver, Alan Hearns, got hurt, broke his ankle. That video I seen on um, on Twitter was gnarly. So, prayers up to Alan Hearns for a speedy recovery. He'll miss the playoffs. He'll miss probably – he probably won't be available until really next season. So, prayers go out to Alan Hearns, Dallas Cowboy fans. Um – it sucks for you. At least it ain't a major, major key player. I get it that he's a stud of a wide receiver, but at least it ain't, you know, Dak Prescott or at least it ain't Ezekiel Elliott. Hell, Amari Cooper, Demarcus Lawrence, or Jalen Smith, one of the, one of your top-notch players. But the Dallas Cowboys, man, I'm 2-0 in my playoffs so far. I went 2-0 today. Had the Colts beating the Texans in which they did, and I had the Cowboys beating Seattle just because I, this is the thing about the Seattle Seahawks pick, and, or this is the thing about me picking – the Seattle Sea or the Dallas Cowboys win this game. I was actually kind of scared to pick the Dallas Cowboys in this game, and I was scared because of the fact that Russell Wilson and the Seahawks and and Pete Carroll and everybody they know they have playoff experience, and I was kind of scared when I chose. But I was like, you know what? Dallas is at home. They played good football for the second half of the season, and that's why I just went with my pick, locked it in, and took Dallas. And I took Dallas from the start, right when Seattle ended up getting uh, right when Seattle ended up getting into the playoffs. I instantly took Seattle, or I mean Cowboys, win this game because the run game of, of Dallas has dramatically increased. Not only their run game, but Dak's been playing great football for this Dallas Cowboys defense. He's, he's completed over 70% of his passes this season, um, or it may have just been like for the second half of the season, but Dak Prescott's having a really good career. A lot of, a lot of people question Dak Prescott and his game, but you got to look at it in the bigger picture. If you put the right weapons around Dak Prescott, and and the coaching's on, and the, and they're and they're calling the right plays, Jason Car Jason Garrett, and that offensive coordinator is calling the right plays. Dak Prescott is a damn good quarterback, and a lot of people don't see that because they just think Dak Prescott to have one bad season and then now he's he's just trash. Um, but Dak Prescott's a hell of a quarterback, and this Dallas Cowboys team is going to be a very good team in the near future, especially with Amari Cooper. I was kind of iffy about when the when the Cowboys gave up a second rounder, or I mean a first rounder for Amari Cooper, but just because of the way he played with Oaken, Oakland, but then you look at it in a way of, well, look how he's playing with the Dallas Cowboys now, like, my God. So Amari Cooper, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel, and the Cowboys uh, get it done um, at home, what I chose, so... Um, I mean, it was a good game. I mean, like I said, I didn't really watch it, but I was, I was, I was got like live updates and, and stuff from it, and it, it was, it was kind of a back and forth game. And there at the end, Seattle ended up getting a touchdown, and um, uh, ended up, or I, I don't know if it, I don't even know what happened at the end, but it got close at the end. But um, other than that, it's gonna wrap up the video. This game was really close um, until halftime, and then Cowboys just kind of kicked on, kicked it on. This is the thing. Could this have been a different game if it was in Seattle? Absolutely. Honestly, if it was in Seattle, I would have probably picked the uh, – well, I would have probably still had the Dallas Cowboys winning, but I would have thought that at least if the Cowboys – would, if, if, the, if it was in Seattle and the Cowboys won, I would have figured it to be off of at least a game-winning field goal or a miracle because Seattle is a way different team at home. The Niners beat the Seattle Seahawks in San Francisco, so this, this, this Seattle Seahawks team is a different team at home. And could have it affected the game if, if if Seattle Seahawks were playing at home? Absolutely. In all aspects, too. Uh, their defense would have played better, their offense. And you never know what could have happened. But, um, yeah, anyways, Dallas Cowboys defeat the Seattle Seahawks in the wild card round, kick, Seattle's out of, kick Seattle out of the playoffs, win 24-22. And um, that's, that's the recap of this game. Like I said, I didn't really watch the full game. But I was getting live updates the whole time, and it was like a back-and-forth game, and it was a very close game. And I was kind of mad that I wasn't home to watch the game because I really wanted to watch it. But I'll probably get on there and watch the rest of the highlights on the game. But 
there you have it there's my recap of the dallas cowboys so now the dallas cowboys will go into um la and play the rams and i'm not gonna i'm gonna save my picks until later this weekend or later this upcoming week but could the dallas cowboys really beat the la rams in la i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do my picks but so far i'm two and one or i mean i'm two and oh in my picks especially i'm two and oh um for the first round of the playoffs so far but tomorrow, as you guys probably know, if you watch my playoff prediction picks in the wild card round, I currently have Baltimore beating the Chargers and the Bears beating the Eagles. So I think I have a pretty good shot at going 4-0 in the first round. But we're going to find out. But um, I'm going to be covering the games tomorrow after after every single game, and we'll figure out what happens. But other than that, it's Niner J49, and the Dallas Cowboys defeat the Los Angeles uh, excuse me, uh, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, 22-24 in Dallas. So there's my recap of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And it's now J49. And I'm probably going to bump out one more video when I get home. I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm literally almost home right now. But I'm probably going to pump out one more video explaining where I think Joe quarter, the Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco could go because Lamar Jackson's probably going to be taking over in Baltimore. So there you have it. Dallas Cowboys defeat Seattle Seahawks in the wild card round and kick Seattle out of the playoffs while – the Dallas Cowboys advance to play the Los Angeles Rams next week in L.A. So there you have it. It's my recap. It's 9 j 49 and as always, go Niners.